Hey everybody, Ropanigonti here, and this is a multicam tutorial. This is a editing feature that I completely ignored for a long time because, you know, I kept on getting it wrong and it was frustrating me. I'm gonna show you how to do it in DaVinci Resolve because that's what a lot of people I know are using now or have recently switched towards as well as Adobe Premiere. Uh, that is my editing software of choice, but I'm pretty sure that Sony Vegas and other NLEs out there all have um, some sort of multicam feature, hopefully. Preparation is really important here. Make sure that your original track, assuming that you are dubbing yourself, is very audible in the camera. This means setting your audio levels, or maybe if you're using an external microphone for your camera, make sure that all of that is calibrated. You want the camera to get all of the audio as clean as possible. Maybe play it back on some louder speakers, but don't clip it. And that way the computer is not going to have a hard time trying to synchronize all of your clips together with the proper mastered audio. Number two, and this one's a personal favorite of mine, label your tracks. It is so much easier to edit anything when you have some sort of clear label. I like to just put the, you know, abbreviation of the song name underscore instrument name. And sometimes I'll even include the uh, lens type or if it's a wide or a medium or a close up. And that's usually good enough. Most of my music videos have been roughly three to five angles at most. For both editors, we're going to have a lot of similar steps. So hopefully you're able to follow along, but we're gonna use each one visually just to make it even easier. DaVinci Resolve users, load up Resolve, load up your project and drop in your clips as well as your song. You want to make sure again that everyone's labeled, but they can be in any bin. Select all your clips as well as your mastered audio and right click any of them. Hit create a multi-cam sequence. This is the same in both editors. Give it a name and set the sync point to audio. This means that we're gonna use the sounds instead of any markers or in points, which you could also set up as the syncing point. Hopefully, if your audio is good and you have some luck, it'll work perfectly. But it's great to see an example like mine where a few clips didn't make the cut. You're also going to want to make sure that it's all set up to clip names. That way it's a little easier to read once we're in the actual multicam setup. If it screws up like it did for mine, we're going to have to go in. So right click your multicam sequence that's been created and you're going to want to go in by opening it in the timeline. Now you'll see all of your clips lined up somehow and then all of their audios. Some of them might already be muted except for the mastered audio, which is great. Drag in the clips that didn't work and you're gonna have to manually sync them. Remember, multicam is about saving time in the cutting process, not the assembly. Once you have everybody lined up and stacked up, I like to get rid of all the audio that I'm not using and lock it down. That way the mastered music that you wanna hear at the end of the day is the only thing that we're gonna hear every time we cut, instead of having all of the raw camera audio switch on every time we make our multicam cuts. Finally, we're ready to actually do a video edit. So drag the multicam sequence into the actual timeline you want to start cutting in. Now, this is easy in Premiere because we just drag the multicam into sequence, but in Resolve, we can just make right click and create create timeline from the multicam sequence as well. Or if you already have a timeline, just drop it in. Hopefully your frame rates are all properly set up, your audio is all set up, and we can start cutting. You're gonna wanna click the multicam or double click it so it shows up in your source window. That's the little window to the left usually where you can see either the specific clip and you can drag and preview the whole clip instead of your end timeline that you're working off. Now you're gonna wanna hit that little button in the bottom left of the source window and change it to multi-cam. Now this is going to reveal a little split diagram. It'll look like one of those security offices from cartoons, but you're gonna have all of your music performance uh, in the little windows. You'll have like a top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. It's beautiful. And if you have more than four clips, you can even go to the bottom right and adjust the default to whatever size grid that you'd like up to four by four. At that point, it's going to be extremely intensive on your computer, which is something I'll get to at the end here. So anyway, with the default of four clips in my example, now we can see all of our clips and playback and you'll notice that you can see all the clips kind of playing together as if you're watching a live broadcast. So now all you have to do is click your clip, hit one, two, three, four, you know, depending on top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right, and it'll switch to that cut. 
So if we play back the song and the video that we're trying to edit, in real time, we can switch between the angles very naturally while looking at it. Now, a word of caution that I'm going to get to for both editors or any editor, if you're shooting with heavier and heavier footage or if your computer is you know, just not up to snuff for this, you're going to want to create proxies. This is done by just taking any or all of the clips that you are editing with, right click and hit create proxies. That's going to allow you to make smaller, kind of crappier versions of your footage that you can use as a substitute so you can cut them and then when you go to render, you'll automatically just flip back to the nice ones and it'll take its time but you'll have a nice video. Now let's say you do this and you are just not feeling it. Now in Resolve, you can just go back to any of your cuts and you can either squeeze and adjust them like they were regular cuts or you can even go to each one of the little cuts that you made, right click and go all the way to the bottom and change the multicam angle to any of the other angles that you would prefer. This is a great way of just giving some very artistic uh, one shots or even doing section by section at a time, reviewing it. And then if you don't like which clips were chosen for any reason, you can go back. Another great reason to use the multicam is now you can also color grade inside that multicam sequence if you'd like, or you can apply a huge grade at the end, add effects on top, add B-roll, add narrative. Now the specifics with Adobe Premiere. I found that Adobe Premiere has a little bit more of a straightforward, although less feature heavy multicam application. You're going to drop your clips into the editor just like before, as well as your mastered audio. Select them all, right click, create a multicam sequence. Now you're going to input the exact same things as Resolve, including uh, the clip name so that everything's labeled nicely and you're going to make sure that it's syncing by audio. That is the most important thing of the whole tutorial. Then, assuming that most of it worked, you will have a multicam sequence, but it's likely that there are some clips that don't make it. So, we have to manually synchronize those as well. But what's nice in Premiere, of course, is once you've synchronized those, you can still have it mixed down to the mastered audio that you had in mind. So you can select that before you even created the source sequence, or you can just mute all of the tracks you don't want. When you have a timeline that you really like, then we can just drop the multicam sequence into the new sequence button in the bottom or any sequence you've already created, and you're gonna be good to go. Now, again, you can apply any effect you want to the raw clips inside the multicam, which is great. You can color correct in here if you wanted to. You can apply any presets for handheld motion. You can change some of the clips to be framed differently if you wanted to scale them in or out or anything to that effect. And then we can go to the multicam editing part of this you know, process. Go into your new timeline or sequence where you have your multicam sequence in there and now you get to click the multicam and it should pull up your multicam sequence in your source window, just like with Resolve. Now, if you don't see that, go to your main window and look for the plus button and then you should be able to find this open multicam uh, window button and you can drag that onto your toolbar for quick use. You might as well also get the toggle proxies because in Adobe, we probably wanna make proxies just as much as we did in Resolve. My footage is a little heavy. So now that you have that button, just click it and you should see the exact same kind of layout with all of our angles. If you play back while clicking the multicam source and then you start going one, two, three, four, you can coordinate and cut just as we did in Resolve and it's a very seamless and to me, very intuitive, natural, organic way of cutting your music video. If you don't like what you did, you can always, always go back. You can revert everything by just dragging in a new multicam sequence. But this edit basically takes me the time of the song with a few tweaks to get a very simple rough cut and it is so much more fun to do. I highly recommend doing this for your music videos and I highly recommend trying out some new tricks because you're gonna save so much time that now you'll have time to add B-roll, add some lighting effects or titles or some fun jokes on top. You won't have to worry about syncing and, and cutting and the basic boring stuff as much. Now, if the multicam process is too hard for you, in Premiere, you can use JKL. This will allow you to play back your timeline a little bit slower or faster, depending on what your comfort is. And that should be a little bit easier for cutting between all of these different angles, especially if you use more than four. In addition to tutorials, of course, if you enjoyed the little bit of music in this, this is a cover I'm working on just really quickly because it's kind of a rock song. So check out my 
main channel, of course, for music videos. I have 11 years of stuff that's video game related, anime, movies, original. Uh, so thank you again for requesting this tutorial. Get editing. <laughs>